Luca, are you gimp? What? There was no countdown! <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we'll just go with this anyway. Go with the big intro, Wilco. It's recording right now. Hello, welcome to Crosscast. Tonight we have the wonderful teams of Offs versus V3 on our second round Oz Fortress Winter League Division, I'm gonna say 6. You would be correct. And Division 6. So bringing you that low, low, low quality of games today, which will be massively good matter. Now, in the progression of drunkenness, I have had two beers, Kraz has had none, and Jerkoff, who we will hopefully become drunk of by the end of the day. Night, day, thing. Give him a couple of minutes, we should be good. <laughs> Just get him a scotch or a bourbon, he'll be fine. And to anyone watching on YouTube, you will notice this is a new HUD. Um, this is based oh, off Omp's no. HUD. Yeah, it's a shameless plug of Omp HUD and of my own HUD making abilities because I am amazing and don't you guys forget it. We do have six on the server now. Sorry, guys, what did you just say there? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. Uh, <laughs> you get funny. Just shameless advertising, as usual. My HUD is sexy, don't be such a hater. And I think we are about to start. We do oh, have yeah, 6v6. Yeah. Does anyone have any predictions for the game? Or? I want to say I would prefer OFS to win, but because Kaki is playing, I do have to say OFS. I I reckon it will be 5 0 to, to the V3. You guys are fucking Ooh. idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tend to disagree there as well, yeah. No, 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 no. That was, that was a troll. That was a troll. Oh. I don't know. Honestly, I don't really know who's gonna win this. I um I don't know much about um much about us. The only players I know is pajamas and jazz. Uh, jazz, sorry. So, jazz movie maker extraordinaire, of course. Yes, of course. Cruz, would you like to introduce the people we have casting with us tonight? Okay, tonight with us we have Dude and Jerkov of ONS and Squaza of XN. Introduce yourself from top to bottom. Are you dead, Jerkov? Squaza in that order. Yep, um, Jerkov. No, actually, you can start, dude. <laughs> well, I'm dude, I uh, play Demon Man for ONS, do 4 team, and we are. We do, we do mental health as well, they're close friends of us as well. So it should be a good game. Looking forward to it. Uh, I'd just okay. like to give a, a <laughs> shout out to this guy in Source TV who's tagged up as V3 Boo Kaki. <laughs> it's, it's quite creative. <laughs> I love it. Good work. So, go, go along, go on. introducing yourself. Um, I'm Jerkov, I used to play Medic for ONS, now I kind of am a floating backup between both those teams, um, ONS and Offs. I'm on the Offs roster, so I'm going to be biased as shit, um, but yeah, tonight, and this is my second night card, I think, so hopefully won't fuck it up any more than last night. I'm Skoza, I roam for XN, I land on Medics occasionally, um... I don't cast much, that's about it, yeah. <laughs> you have cool hair though. <laughs> Favorite landing game is enemy health back down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's already mine. That bad boy is down! Oh, really? I don't even know what's the hold up going on now. Um, I think someone restarted. Oh, yeah. Oh, just about the game info from Dilly, they have started. Um, so in 90 seconds, at most, we will be going live. New game! On the 90 second delay, of course, because live is for chumps. Yep, we got just seeing the GLs going through now. Should see. We're gonna run over the rosters, or just go straight into it? Uh, oh, for V3, we have Teed Romance on Scout, we have Jack and Faithless on Scout. Riot and Chrome on Soldier, and of course, the squizzed extraordinaire of the forums, Kaki, on Demo. <laughs> for, off, for offs, we have pajamas on pajamas. Yeah, pajamas on medic. Uh, Jack, uh, Jas, and Opta on soldier. And I'm just gonna go with Cell, <laughs> Cell, and uh, Dilbertron. 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 Yep. Yeah, Dilbertron on scout. So. And cake on demo. Cake. Zach oh, pronounced cake. He doesn't count. She doesn't count. Well, Isn't the OFS oh. the single the? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> watch. Yeah, offs, offs. Actually, Ooh, game on, boys, game on. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Well, the okay. only actually female, watch and roll out. female players on OMTF2 is jump and the yellow dart. So it's good to see more, more a bit more of a mixed gender in TF2. I'm gonna watch Keek on this rollout. Yeah. Barely a solid speed. He tries cake. She is going to try rollout, and we'll. Uh, She's been we'll the other domain quite quite yeah. hard. Kaki is getting low, really low already. Big, great time for yeah. the OFS demo to not to throw Roman, it just falls right in there. Yeah, it's really aggressive. Right right the scouts as well. On high ground. Kaki's down. 
Cock it down, sister. Big jumps. Big jumps. Oh, will he get a boy? Looks like nah. we'll back out of that lost position there. I think yeah, just, just, just we have one the just first went a bit deep. Uh, both, both the red sullies hung back a bit that time. But they managed to keep the medic up, so they will hold over here. And it looks like at the moment they're going to back up yard. They don't have a lot of numbers here, though, so they don't want to get fourth. But, um, yeah, and they will have to give up yard with that new soldier. And they so kicked a lot of damage on that mid fight. I reckon OFS probably could have taken that if their soldiers had just been more aggressive and really just tried to bop off that damage instead of staying very passive. Yeah, the thing about when you, as Demon Man, when you get to mid and the scarch on the crates, you can just easily bob stickies up and get good damage onto them. So now, B3 looking to start muscling in on them. It's just a bit of, uh, hoovering around at the moment. Nobody prepared to. But, um, they will come in and pop their over before, before off. And now we just have a bit of ulti duo action on the point at the moment. Right. Love that ulti Joe. Oh, don't, no. Oh, right. Uh, it's okay, yeah, this should just be just as the OFS needs. I would like to see them get really aggressive now. Um, but they shouldn't, B3 probably shouldn't have had to pop it in. They probably could have just like edged yeah. the cap and just got it that Jack way. Yeah. The uh, B3 combo is quite good now. Still be folding like a fucking idiot. He's doing well, but he does go down. Uh, get some good damage, and they've they've forced him back out into mid. Now. But uh, both both off scouts are down. So v, uh, V3 will want me to start working around on the left flank. Love that M plus one. Gotta love that. She's a bit of a stalemate at the moment. I'm not. Sure. No, it's a blues attempt to be a bit more aggressive for coming out. It's, it's kind they of failed. They're gonna have to give up yard, if, or they're gonna get outflanked soon. If Red decides to push in properly down the left, which they are doing now. This it seems Red is actually is rotating. Completely. They're actually gonna rotate up into garage. This is quite a smart move from them. They're actually working. It'll be advantage. interesting because they've got a 15 percent uber advantage now. They could have pushed straight off that if they had a notice, but um, looks like they're just gonna even themselves out, and this is gonna be an uber versus uber fight again. We're too down for us, so they should they should be looking to back out soon enough. It looks like Karthi's going to try and muster up the top, but does go down. Seldrum might take that nice scout though. Oh no, Cell taken by Kaki and Chrome. Absolutely massive play by him. Uber coming in from OFFS to take down Chrome. Alright, they're just going to back off and then not push for dead player advantage. I've just seen a bit of deja vu actually just happened. This is something just 30 seconds ago. And Faithless with a bit of really gimpish movement keeping him alive. I think nobody really knew where to shoot. He was on 6 health for a lot of them. So Offs, fortunately, couldn't quite capitalize on a bit of a player advantage in Yard. Yeah. I've got a reset here. I reckon they should try and use this player advantage though. Jack is down, so I reckon there's yeah, be a pretty easy move point to move into right. Roy gets pushed way far. He, he rubs backs with that, and neither of them notice. But he uh -oh, does turn demo's around and, down and for off. to grab the blue demo with a bit of help from his... Just bombs in like a fuckwit and gets up. So now Offs with some... Uh, so, uh, two players down, they're gonna have to back out of this pool point pretty soon. So, um, B3 is managing to keep that Uber advantage, but uh, they will bully this point without having to pop Uber. So, well, what's that already in last on the combo? Oh, that's Medic yeah, down for FFS. This should be the game right here for B3. Chrome trying to make a move into the top. Yeah, and this is some sort of miracle save. The round's pretty much over for offs. B3 getting some good aggressive, nice. doing a lot of damage. What do you guys think about pajamas? Not the player, just just pajamas. Do you, do you guys still wear pajamas? No. I don't Sleep wear fully pajamas nude. Right point is being captured. <laughs> Classic uh, And V3 take out the point quite easily, just from popping in and DMing as usual. As Div six or so have boxes equal. No, they don't. That's no. Like pajamas that's not is how like it works. That's like saying Hitler equals. I don't know. Care this. <laughs> But that's but pajamas are like having like choo choo trains and tractors and and stuff like that all over you. Do you still wear a onesie, Wilco? Slow this time. They are going for a garage roll. Uh, sorry, walkway roll out. Okay. So both guys coming in high as well. And the combo's coming out left. Uh, choke. A bit more aggression for Reds. At least the lost into position, getting bounced. Ooh, med down really quick. That's that's gonna be a big advantage for them. Thank you, mm. pajamas up. The yeah. Mackie jump from Jack frags tainted romance. Yeah, yeah, it looks mid. like offs pretty easily. Have okay. his mid. Yeah, that's really good high ground aggression mm. as well. They Once just they took the crates immediately and won the mid fight. That's what they should have had last round. That's really well done by them. I think romance immediately off the bat there. That's, this might actually be if they push this right, this should be round over for them. I reckon King is one of those people that just wears like those really tight spandex things to bed. I reckon well, Kaki's what the here. Kaki there we go. Well, what's Kaki doing there? That, go that's straight, straight into the warehouse with the demo Kaki is being Kaki. I a dumbass. I mean, I said our demo overextended, but man, that's silly. Cruz <laughs> telling it like it is. I'm <laughs> saying that. Well. Mm. So Kaki's gonna be pretty irritated about that, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> also like a gimp and goes. So say um. Just go straight in. Well. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah but I wanna go like, straight in before the Everybody Everybody in there, go get in there, boys and girls. Oh, the heavy coming out. I have to kill this heavy immediately, though. Will I kill that heavy? <laughs> Jack going down, still going down. Oh, right. Need to get to the medic soon enough, or else he's gonna come back. I think they just. Yeah. yeah. Oh, first need someone to beat, bait oh, this cap here, so. Oh, oh, okay, going down. Right, match going down. Right. Alright. Go scout, go scout, go scout! No, 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 no! Oh, Billy. Billy. He's dropping like the proverbial sack of shit. He's gonna give. He's gonna give us back the Uber advantage, but they will they will safely hold back in you. Yeah. Um, the jobs actually got out there on about 30 she health, did. and she was just DMing her way out of it with the needle guns, which is good to see. Uh, Champion. Cell, classically over overextended. <laughs> Offs really don't want to give this point up without a fight. So it looks like Red um, will get muscled out. They're intimidated by that angry, angry snow cap running at them. It's just the hats, I reckon. Offs have the severe yeah, hats. They, they, have the they, they have a two, two man advantage here, and the demo man is down, so. Plus, they have a good advantage. Down. Probably about a 50, 40%, so they really need to I don't, like Yeah, they really should be going. I reckon, yeah, they're just gonna grind up, I reckon, just push the year, but they probably should have gone in, but. Yeah, whatever. Div 6. Doing the classic Div 6 thing, I'm too scared to push on the last point without my Uber. I just hate to walk out. Be nice I to Div 6. This. Uh, so yeah, they there are, you go. They are viewing. Uh, they're having a look at left side, there's a bit of a trap there, so one an early Oh, they staying alive. They do get in, they well, if they waited out. a bit too long though, the medics have to go down immediately if they want to not go mm. to the Uber. Yeah, Tainted Romance gets an Uber off. Uh, Jess, Jess with some great control on the pops, showing his MGE skills rather. Uh -huh. And he's going to marshal the point like a hero, okay. going for Kark, no dice though. Ooh, it's either get out or commit so, right now. So there are that, four, four have to run out players now. on less than 50 health, but um, looks like off. They unfortunately don't have the spectator HUD, so they will pull out. Kaki and they are going to yeah, grind Uber again. Yep, so it looks like we will see it. Um, no, V3, they're sick of this shit. They want to push in, they want this point back. Our control point is being captured. In my motto in we meeting women, you either put out or get out. Same thing goes for TF2. So, so Dilby be picking up Chrome on the flank. Pain of Romance now 50 health. Oh, nice Kaki did a lot of damage Did's there, but just shit. overextended there. Alert. Alert. Oh, what back up? I wasn't even watching. Who saw that? Anyone actually see that? I kind of missed everything. Dilby went in, Dilby went in, drilled the scout for a while, then Jess came in and cleaned up. So, uh -oh. excellent yeah. map knowledge there from the, uh, the offs combo scout. <laughs> map knowledge all around, back cutting through the knowledge of the map. You're exactly right. Yep, Dil Dilby's, Dilby's map knowledge is, is second to none. It's, it's legendary, been, even in real life. They can cocky on this roll out. Pretty slow. Kate going back to the, uh, to the choke point roll out now. Roughly equal equal time with Kaki, so both demos grab the health pack. Bit of scouts, both scouts controlling their left their respective left left front. But off's going balls deep down. Oh meds down. And once again, yeah. Oh shit fight back. Oh just two G Just and Kick just too freaking strong for V3. I think my prediction might be wrong now. This one to one and this mid fight is going beautifully oh, okay. to her first. Whoever's well, been mentoring Cake must be a monster. Oh, the cake oh, is in the oh damn pipes, damn pipes! You can thank my. I was hoping I warm up an MG today. You can thank me for that. Oh yeah, sure, crowd. <laughs> sure. She should be very happy with her DM there. I'm hitting pipes by proxy. Can we also thank you for like producing Banny, the greatest demo in the world? Can, can we? Can we thank you for that? As you well? can thank him for producing me for producing cake. <laughs> Funny you should mention Banny. <laughs> Um, so we will see offs prepare to push in via Yard with full Uber. Um, they should red, be going straight in here, they have numbers. Yeah, V3 sensibly holding back left. This is what I like to do, often, probably while we look. But, uh, they're holding, holding back left. Kaki can't take it, no, he wants to man up. He Ooh. goes full, gets, a, gets an early pop, so pays off this time, but he's on 80 help. Red will back right. Uh, Roy, not realising that when people glow, they can't be killed, so... Putting a direct rock <laughs> and almost killing him. So, offs with a... Uh, a small player advantage here, but they're well, V3 pretty low. Have the Uber at the moment. V3 so. do indeed have the Uber, so it's going to be the it's going the ball's going to be in their court. But um, it all depends on how V3 want to push here. I feel like it, that really shouldn't matter though. I reckon that OFS probably could have taken that, um, just because player advantage better than group advantage in the shot of it. Uh, if they managed to get forward and take position um, before they were really getting aggressed, they probably could have like gotten really close, boss I pop, and then just sort of fell out and then repushed immediately. Looks like they wanted. Uh, V3 wanted to a scout push here into with full Uber. Chrome, yeah, V3 can push off this advantage. This is what we call a bad there idea. We go, straight through. Oh, he yeah. disconnected from the medic. Unfortunately for Chrome, he did get dumpstered several seconds before they went. I just thought Jack manages to make it. Gets picked off by. Looks like Jamas might just get Uber. Right now, I don't know who is going to be backcapping right now. And in they go. Are they just gonna push in? Yep. 
Yeah, he painted Roman way up. He's got no chance there. So, pretty ballsy play by V3, but they dropped a couple of players early on. They it's just one heavy on the point right now. And, um, it really didn't work out for them. Ah, uh, there's a soldier chasing it. Oh, meds down for ups. And, um, it's just a heavy, heavy and Solion now for red, but they will manage to hold this off. Mm. So, um, bit of disconnection there from offs coming out, costing them the medic. But, um, we will see a reset. Uh, reset to ready to push last. Look because for an off class here once they get their Uber up as well. With equal Ubers. Hey, we talked about <laughs> I love you too, Crypto. I reckon, like. Oh, official. I reckon oh, official. we should have gone for a back cap there. I can say if this was if, uh, um, this is the we're playing right now, I would just be like scouts back off, go around right hand side, get upstairs, get back cap, win game. I, just, I don't know why. I think there was one heavy holding thing. the point, so I think they were hesitating because of that. Oh, yeah, that's true, I guess. And we have seen the off the off class coming out from Cell now. He's on sniper. Cell, 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 Cell. Come uh, there, he is. He's, 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 gonna, sniper, yeah, yeah. he's gonna rotate top and have a go at that heavy, I think. He, like me, doesn't like Russians because they play Dota badly, so he's uh, he's gonna take that up with a heavy right now if if they, if they can back this soldier off the pipe. This should be very interesting. Um, I'm on the side. Just peek left. I'm on Cell. Shoot something. Ooh, uh, I'm holding my breath right now. Red sniper as well. Jack, Jack doesn't like the idea of one sniper on the map. He is two sniping. We see. Oh, so just walked through about four sixes and dead man did not. Still didn't pop. Okay. Yeah. Overcoming oh, again for V3. Do they realise how bad they are? <laughs> Oof. Ouch. Roy walking around on people's kids and is somehow gonna get out. 17. Oh, oh wow. Kill Roy, please. Oh wow, and he got out. My, uh, one of my co casters being absolutely just being very quite rude to one of the teams that are playing at the time. And P3, my yeah, that's apologize. Well, well, if you think about it, if you think about it, I'm actually only being rude to Kaki. Kaki is the lead caller for V3 and he called through that push and it was a stupid idea. Remember, after our first cast, um, okay, Wilco. I spoke to Kaki who said, well, he said it was very insulted by it, said it was a pathetic cast or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I added him afterwards and asked him, like, what the deal was. Like, if there was something we could work on, I'm just like, nah, you're just dissing our plays, they're amazing, fuck you. It's like, really, really, really. Every Everybody knows everyone likes the shit talk, so it doesn't really matter. Back to the match, though. So, what, yeah, what but advantage? Div 6 trash talk is the most hilarious thing ever. You're in the bottom div of competitive TF2. You have no right to trash anyone. Oh, okay. looks like the mid's down Jarvis for offs. Oh. Ooh, that's not... that's gonna hurt. They look to see a bit of dodgy shit here. Yeah, um... Well, well they've asked for the early poppy, they don't see a ball spawn to just come straight in. There we go. Comes a khaki cam. I want to find some backhappy scouts. Back. Deli, Dilbertron, and Asoli. Oh, there they go! Oh, go, the go. Oh, yes. There you go. The That's the patented pain train on Jasmine right there. That's Good crazy. work by OFFS there. Amazing backhap. Perfect timing. Really well executed. Pretty happy with the boys right now, eh, Draco? Boys and girls, yeah. I am. They, they do that. They're happy. No girls allowed on internet. Looks like half of offs will have to leave then. Kay's going up to for a balcony roll out here, and she's still got a good sticky onto the demo man on the other team actually, and two scouts as well. It's good to see there's only damage, hopefully offs can focus on it. Yeah, red really locked in the corner, but just does go. Everyone's on yeah, low health on the right now. Though. Yeah, we'll see a rebush from red very soon, both soldiers Oh, Kaki going down. Walk, if they can keep Cake alive, this should be just the advantage they need. Oh, but I've lost the point. Cake can by herself, she's gonna get wrecked by that scout. There she goes. That might... Interesting mid there. I think, um, Octio went in a bit too aggressive without heals and got dumpstered. So did Jad. Apart from that, everybody else on, um, Ops managed to do that quite well. Um, it, it could have gone either way, but in the end, red, red soldier's very strong. Managed to hold them off. And Dilby's, Dilby's quite extended, he's quite lucky to get out of that. And I think uh, of that they mid, don't want to push here. I think of that mid though, everyone was on red health, so if someone just called for a focus, they probably would have gotten team down. So, um, Ops does get forced, Jas goes in and gets the counter force out, so look for a reset in the yard. Uh, Chrome quite quite far put, and really nice aggression out of V3 here, managed to get yard after that without any player picks, so quite good work by them. A lot of pressure on the on the uh, left flank too, Jas going down. So, offs have absolutely no flank on this side at all. They're going to recognize that and realize they're going to get surrounded if they if they push in too far here. And 
Jack surely is going to, yeah, Jack picks this and he's going to run around the back and hope he doesn't get picked up by a respawner on the way through. Uh, Going in now for cake. Uh, pajamas rather. Right, uh, take it. Yeah, there's a big urban advantage to offs at the moment, well, relatively, maybe 25%-ish. I don't know if they're going to actually try and make a repush of that. I wouldn't do it myself, but it's, it's a possibility. Yes. It's not uh, so Maybe. It's not a, I would. I'd like to see it happen, just for entertainment value. Ooh, Jack's gone heavy. It looks like doesn't look like it. Looks no, like Jack okay. might try to push out from top pipe as he comes in with his team. Or late in the fight. We're going to go on the Jack cam. Big bitty on Jass, putting him solidly in the dumpster, but the, uh, the clutch heavy coming out now from blue as well. So look for them to uh, wake up to the fact there's a red solely on top of his head and kill him. But um, the Cossack does go down, and uh, Off's really bleeding players here. It's five plays three, and uh, the late heavy from uh, B3 should really take this out. Just being contested. Mm, Keep that heavy alive, it's just such a crucial thing for any push involving a heavy. See, not many teams will opt to keep him alive, so they just see it's him to like force the pop and then they just let him die pretty much. I don't think a lot of teams, especially the lower deals, just don't realize that if you can keep a heavy alive post Doom, it's just going to wreck it up even more effectively than a scout will. Also, I don't think they knew that there was a heavy though. It was until, also until he came in late. quite a late rollout from um, the offs heavy as well, so he didn't have any buffs and he went down quite quickly. Whereas uh, B3's heavy came in a lot later, so we are going to see, looks like a granary rollout from offs again. They're changing it up like I told them to. Uh, earlier, the, the scouts on the cr Chrome, Chrome going in though. Jumps up twice like a gimp, three times. This guy does not know how to fucking surf today. And he doesn't give a shit because his weapons have such cool weapons, but uh... Oh, he's so running, he's running straight into the oh, oh, jump. Is is lit to hell. It doesn't matter though, it's now 5v3. Royd's down, so apparently the best player is gone. OFS falling back for some reason, they had big player advantage, why are they falling out? Oh, they're repushing now, there it is. Yeah, they're all really lit, so they're just getting heals and coming back in, I think. Yeah, the med was destroyed, pushed out, and went back out at maybe 20 HP. There's one scout always backed out, I'll live this one. Looks like we might get to a standard gunnery stalemate right now. That's one team nah. able to push into the into the yard. That's uber advantage. I reckon if I was FFS right now, I'd just push right into right yard. Just go derp aggro and just get kill those people. Just kill it. Just kill it. I do realize that uh, Kaki sticky trap goes up. Cell's running around on mid like a fuckwood at the moment, but Dilby and Jass are going in. Uh, you're right. Offs really should be pushing in here. They've got this advantage. Oh, the dead man's five is right now. Looks like Candid might get the uber before offs push in. Yeah, some pretty sloppy play here by off. They really haven't capitalized on that. But um, now that they know it, they are playing safe and they do get the pick on one of the red scouts. So look, look they're both both red scouts now down, so look for offs to start working that flank. There are two sticks on the point right now. Cake doesn't see this. Two stickies. Nah, there they go. Two scared of stickies. That looks like V3 just ubered straight in. Take it on the flank as well. 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 Casual stroll in New York Park, whatever. He self prepares kills explosions. over capping the point right now. He gets off a free kill. Or tries to get a free kill. It's suddenly a wild pack of squirrels as the red team jumps onto them. Looks like Officer just gonna build Uber in second again. Again. I mean, it's just. Uh, oh no. I thought I could have for a second there, just had it. Either way, there should be the strangest a... feeling of deja vu. <laughs> now, if yeah, Ofs like can, ten minutes ago. if Ofs can push this right, this would be an easy win for them. I mean, said they have to make sure that no one dies to Faithless. If they made it, oh no, pushing out the other side as they as the sniper. Sorry, so that should be pretty easy for them. Good early pop there, so Faithless will be hitting nothing. But to get the kills here though, Roy going down, Octo going down. Now even numbers, they have to get more frags on this. Oh no, just run to the cap. cap Whatevs, ain't no thing. Screw me, I said nothing. That is end of the first half. Alright, I'm going to kill the recording and we're back with part two in just a hot second.